Hey, welcome to Exodus chapter 23, and on we go. Let's look at verse 1 today. You shall not bear a false report. Do not join your hand with a wicked man to be a malicious witness. Now this and the next few verses are going to talk about uh, these uh, false witness question. So we're going to look at this just very quickly here. The law in Israel was really built on the idea you had to be honest. The whole culture was built on this, that so you had to be honest. And it's kind of laid out by, I think, from Stewart's commentary, a little note I made here. Because the law so strictly honored the testimony of two witnesses against anyone accused of a crime, absolute honesty in giving testimony was essential to the correct functioning of the legal system. Conversely, the law equally encompassed the possibility that someone accused of a crime would be set free without penalty by reason of the false testimony of a friend who helped the wicked man avoid facing responsibility for his crime. So there's two ways to circumvent this. Either you can uh, have somebody who falsely testifies against somebody, so then there's, the, there's somebody plus a false one or maybe two false ones, and then that person would be, there's two witnesses against him, he's guilty. And then the other option would be uh, he has a false witness that says, no, you know, he wasn't guilty. He didn't do this, but that's a lie. And so if he can get two witnesses to say he didn't do it, then again, he gets, he gets to go away. So honesty was the premium thing. Everybody was expected and God expected. This is the way the legal system was set up. It was very urgent and very definite, very absolute that everybody, what they said would be absolutely true. You, if you lie, you kind of upset the whole apple cart and everything comes to pieces. Now remember, these are people who believe there is a God. These are people who have the Holy Spirit uh, working on their conscience. And the civilization is built on a question of truth. Okay, so the people are, it's anticipated, they'll be true to their conscience. And they'll say yes when the answer is yes. They'll say no when the answer is no. And so this is a group, this is a culture, a society which uh, knows the difference between right and wrong and uh, people are faithful to that. That's sort of built in, that's the baseline there. So that's what you have here. You shall not bear a false report. It's, it's destructive, it's civilizationally destructive to bear any kind of an actually false report. Do not join your hand with a wicked man to be a malicious witness. That's the second part we mentioned, right? If you're a false witness against somebody, so they're not guilty, but they produce that double witness, why they could be falsely condemned. So today we live in a culture here in the 2020s where lying, people just lie at the drop of a hat. People just lie if it's convenient. Uh, there's just all kinds of that stuff happening today. We are a culture that does not uh, so largely does not go by truth. In fact, many people in our culture don't even believe anymore that there is a truth. The devil's been busy with his philosophizing so the people don't feel like there's anything absolute. But this system is built up from the plan of we are honest with reality. The world that we live in today is we can be dishonest with reality all day long because there really is no reality. It's just whatever we want it to be. We're kind of living in a big fuzz, a big fog. So uh, actually though, if you step off the, the three-story building, you step off the roof, you'll soon discover there are absolutes in our world. God's world has absolutes in it. So we want to live by God's ways, and, uh, but we're just looking at the laws as we work our way through. And here we find that, and there, here's a call to us here in, the, in our day, thousands of years later, here's a call to us to be people of integrity, people who say yes when the answer is truly yes and say no when the answer is truly no. And that will do wonders for uh, your marriage life, for your parenting with your kids, for things at work and how you relate to people on a day-by-day -day basis, for how you live with your neighbor. Truth, truth is still urgently important, even in a twisted up, bent up, messed up world like our society today. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning.